All right, guys, new intro here for the Bear Pack. We already crushed a 7K subscriber goal, so we are going to update that board here for you guys. Look at Joe Burrow looking at all these nice, tasty giveaways. We have the 8K sub jersey giveaway. We have the 9K sub sports memorabilia giveaway. 10K subs, the big one, $1,000 giveaway, and the 12K subs. We're going to send a couple people to a game of their choice. Guys, we are very excited for the football season, but no more talking. Let's get right into this video, Trey. All right, guys, let's get in some NFL picks and props for Thursday, October 26th slate of games. Before we take a look at that leaderboard, we are almost at 8,000 subscribers here on Bears Proper Plays YouTube channel. So thank you guys very much for getting us to 8,000. I have full comments that you guys are going to get us that on Thursday. We're going to be giving that jersey giveaway on Friday's live show to get into that drawing. All you have to do is comment what jersey you want in the comment section down below. We will put your name on the wheel, and we're going to spin it. It can be any jersey you guys want. Think of anything you want. We'll try to go get it and buy it for you. And uh, thank you guys again for getting us 8,000 subs. We're looking forward to getting to nine and 10,000 subs, hopefully 10,000 by Christmas, so we can give someone $1,000 for the Christmas gifts. But let's take a look at the leaderboard before we get into our picks. Trey, start us off. Yeah, and I am 1-0 last time on Monday Night Football. That is because I gave out the Vikings plus seven and a half against the 49ers. I had a lot of people in the comments calling me stupid, stupid Trey. You're an idiot. What are you doing? Oh, my God. The 49ers are so good. Have you even watched football? Guess who won the game straight up? Enough said. Yeah. Uh, I'm an idiot. I took the Niners minus six and a half going up against the Vikings. Niners drop back to back. It turns out that Kirk Cousins is indeed him. And the community, and Trey, they sniffed that out and they picked them to win on the honeypot. Kirk Cousins over yards. So you guys got one of three consecutive wins. You need two more wins to get $100. So the player props are going to be up in the community tab. Go vote for that uh, right now because it's going to be up. So, yeah, I took the 49ers. The Dallas loss of the 49ers looks worse and worse as time goes on, which means Dallas is that bad. So let's take a look at the pick for tomorrow. It's going to be the Thursday night game. Tampa Bay Buccaneers traveling to take on the Buffalo Bills. The Buffalo Bills are minus 8.5. The over-under is 43. Seth, I'll have you start. Yeah, um, I'm going to go Bills here, minus eight and a half. I cannot trust the Tampa Bay Buccaneers here at all. I know the Bills haven't looked totally up to the Bills yet, but Tampa Bay cannot get a run game going, and this is going to make them super one-dimensional in this game. And the only receiver that's really showed up for the Buccaneers this year has been Mike Evans. It's really easy to just spy on one receiver the whole game when the Buccaneers can't get a run game going or any other receivers going in this one. Josh Allen just needs to stop making some boneheaded plays and just stop taking chances way down the field when he has guys open in front of him. I like the Bills here. I, I know they haven't started off super good, but it's still the Bills, and I still think their talent on that team is very, very good. I don't trust the Buccaneers here at all, especially on the road with those rowdy Bills Mafia fans. So I am going to take the Bills here at minus 8.5 as they should be able to win by multiple touchdowns in this one. Right. Yeah, this game will be very interesting to watch. I think it doesn't even be noted, though, before I go into it, that Josh Allen, he has not hit over 20 rushing yards in four straight games. And his price picks line is at 22 and a half as well. So it's very interesting that how the Bills are using him this season. But also what is surprising is how both these two team seasons are going. The Bucks were expected to be somewhat near the bottom of the NFC standings. And currently they're three and three and are also three and three ATS. But they are one and five to the over, though. So they have not been scoring very many points and their defense has been standing up for them this season. And the Bills, they've been surprising people by how inconsistent they've been this season. They come this game with a four and three record and are three and four ATS. They're also three and four to the over as well. So give me the under here in this game. I'm going to take it 43 and a half here. And I'm also going to take the Buccaneers plus nine and a half in this game. I love both of these plays equally. And I'm going to put both of them in a parlay and watch them cash on Thursday night. And I fully expect this to be a 17 14 game either way. So I obviously love the under and the Bucks plus the points here. The Bills, they just have a laundry list of players that are on the injury report at the moment. Damian Harris and Dawson Knox are already going to be out for this game. And that's two big pieces of their offense, and not to mention they have a lot of defensive players on the injury report that are probably going to play, but they are questionable and have not practiced a lot this week. So I expect the Bucs to go up to Buffalo and play a hard-nosed game here. This Bucs defense has been legit this season. They give up the six fewest points so far per game this year with an average of only 17.3 points per game. If they can hold this Bills team to under 20, I fully expect the Bucks here to cover this 9.5. And, and obviously, I expect the under to cash as well. 
And Josh Allen, like I said at the beginning, he has not been able to put on a Superman cape, gone under 20 rushing yards in four games in a row, make it five here. So give me the so give me the Bucks here plus nine and a half on the road and the under 43 and a half in this game. Damn. I kind of want to take the Bucks now. Uh I'm not gonna take them. I'm gonna keep my I'm gonna keep my original thought. Um the Buffalo Bills, they've been really bad over the last three weeks. You'd think that the line would reflect them being poor over the last three weeks, and it just doesn't. The line makes no sense. The line's also jumped a full point since uh, Tuesday night, which tells me the sharp money's coming in on the Buffalo Bills. This is a gut feeling game for me. It's going to be the Buffalo Bills minus eight and a half. They haven't looked great at all, but this team is fantastic somewhere underneath all the all the shit they've been putting out on the field so far. They have a lot of weapons on the offensive side, and while I've been saying the Buffalo Bills look bad, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have also looked really bad. This is going to be a home game for the Bills, so I'm going to take a chance and hope that we get the good version of the Buffalo Bills in this game. So give me Josh Allen to win this game by double digits as he beats the Bucs at home and the Buffalo Bills gets right as my play. Guys, let's go with the player props. Trey, start us off. Yeah, and on Monday night, I went 1-0. That's because I gave out TJ Hawkinson over 49.5 receiving yards. This was such an easy play. He hit this very early in the game. He finished the game, though, with 11 receptions on 12 targets and 86 receiving yards. He was getting force-fed consistently through that game so thank you tj hawkinson yep and i went one to know as well i had kj osborne over 41 and a half receiving yards against the 49ers a little bit sweaty but we got it done late so we did sweep the board there let's take a look at the player props for tomorrow try how you start us off yeah i'm pretty excited to give out my play and i'm going to go over to the receiving yards here and i'm going to take stefan diggs over 86 and a half receiving yards against the buccaneers we are kidding ourselves if we do not think that Allen is not going to target Stephon Diggs consistently and a ton in this game. This is a nationally televised game here, guys. So this is how it's going to go. Stephon Diggs is either going to get targeted immediately and be happy and not do anything, or he's not going to get thrown out early and yell at everybody at halftime, then proceed to get targeted immediately and be happy. That's how the season has gone for Stephon Diggs, and I don't see it changing in this game. And Stephon, he's been hitting this over consistently. And over his last five games, as you guys can see, he's averaging 102 receiving yards per game which is over this number, and he's hit this over in four out of those five games. That's an 80% hit rate, and this Tampa Bay defense is great at stopping the run, but they are not worth a dang at stopping the pass, though, because they give up the six most passing yards per game with an average of 247 passing yards per game. So I think Diggs is going to have a ton of opportunity. So give me Stephon Diggs to go over 86.5 receiving yards against the Bucks. I like it, Teresa. Yeah, and I mentioned in the game pick that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have not been able to get a run game going at all. So I'm going to take Rashad White to go under 46 and a half rush yards in this game. He has hit this under in all but two games this season and won't be getting an easy matchup against this Bills front five, who is very stout. And on top of that, Trey told us in the game pick that they're missing some cornerbacks. So I do think uh, Tampa Bay will attack this team through the air. Rashad White has yet to be able to run away with the opportunity he was given this offseason as the main back in this offense. When I say he has really struggled, it's an understatement. He has had 83 carries this year and has only mustered 266 yards. Guys, this is awful. This is not running back one material. This is not a guy you should be running out there every game. And this is why the Tampa Bay Buccaneers offense has struggled so bad of late is because of Rashad White. He cannot get the ground game going with him, so that's why they've struggled everywhere. I'm taking Rashad White's under here as I do not think he will go over the 46 and a half mark. Yeah, I like that play as well. Uh, I'm going to take it under tonight as well, something I usually never do. Give me James Cook to go under 50 and a half rushing yards against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I like James Cook to go under tonight, going up against the second best defense against the run of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. If the Bills do run, it's probably going to be with Josh Allen scrambling out of the pocket because I expect them to be throwing the ball a ton in this game, trying to put up a big number to get back on track after playing poorly in the last three weeks. Tampa Bay this season has only allowed 467 rushing yards, and they're allowing a league-best three yards per carry. James Cook, he's been having a pretty solid season, but this is going to be the toughest test so far for him on the year, and it's going to be the toughest test for the offensive line to create some space for him. I expect him to struggle tonight, so give me his under 50 and a half rushing yards as my play. Trey, let's take a look at that graphic. Seth, start us off. Yeah, I have the Bills minus eight and a half at home playing for the Bills Mafia, and then I have Rashad White under 46 and a half rush yards against the Bills. Okay. Yeah, and I took the Bucks plus nine and a half lone wolf in there. And I'm also Ooh. going with the under 43 and a half total points in that game. It's a juicy parlay. I'm also going with Stephon Diggs over 86 and a half receiving yards versus the Bucks. Might as well throw that in there with a the juicy same game parlay as well. 
Yep, but I'm taking the Buffalo Bills minus eight and a half. And then James Cook under 50 and a half rushing yards going up against that really good front for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But guys, it's going to do it for our NFL plays and props for Thursday, October 26th, Lady Games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please sure drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel below. We'll see you guys next video. And thanks for watching. Multiple questions this morning about how to become a member for the YouTube channel. Let's do that really quick tutorial. You're going to go to youtube.com. You're going to go to Bears Profit Plays. You're going to search it in. You're going to hit our thing. There's a join button right just to the right of subscribe. You're going to click that. There's two options. You have the Bear Pack for $4.99. That gives you access to YouTube member plays. And then you have the Bear Pack Gold for $7.99 a month. That gives you access to our member plays on YouTube. And it gives you a one-month membership to our website, bearsprofitplays.com. So if you get the Bear Pack Gold, you save yourself two bucks a month, a little bit cheaper if you want to do that. But that is the tutorial for anybody that needed it. We had multiple questions today through email about how to do it, and it wasn't working. But if you want to know, there it is right there. Trey, 